now coming down to Gaganyaan, for example, what exactly, where exactly are we? So Gaganyaan uh, is a very complex project, uh, though it's uh, like a launch, launching something, but launching up there is very easy, but bringing back is very, <laughs> very risky. And even for launching, we need to be very sure that nothing can go wrong because human beings are involved. Mm. Uh, we have given a very optimistic schedule when we started the Gaganyan of doing it in four years of time. We faced many challenges. So we had to do many re-engineering, redesigns to uh, know, overcome that challenges. But the biggest challenge to me is, is the safety of the crew. Correct. Suppose you look at Chandra Gaganyan, if it happens, the first mission ends up with some problem. Recovery will be very difficult. Right. It could be t five years, it could be ten years. So I talk to my... The human beings involved. No? Yeah, so I talk to my teammates it's, hmm. and also talk to government also as well and mention to them saying that it is very risky to go a, a fast track approach in this. It has to be a very cautious approach with the full confidence on the very first mission. So we thought that we should do ad add additional tests, additional validations, additional measures to ensure the first time when we do it should be right. It is of course discussed with the government, it is also going to be discussed with the Space Commission and many other fora. And we would like to set the clock slow for it. For so, us but to some idea about... Yeah, what we are trying to do is there are many, many tests, hundreds of tests happening now. And we would like to make sure that in the next one year, most of those tests do happen. And uh, manned mission, of course, the final uh, manned mission cannot happen before 2025. Yeah. And the biggest uh, test which is going to happen, the crew abort test, is mm. going to happen next month. Next month. You say 26th. Yes. 26th of, yes. of October. Yeah. Asianet News Network Prasthuti. New Nurtidira Asianet Suvarna News.